Hey everybody, it's time for the annual Simply Cyber Community Town Hall where we look at 2021 and all the amazing things that we accomplished and look at planning for 2022 and share all of the projects and all of the initiatives that we've got lined up for the community. It's going to be banging. Let's get right into it. So 2021 was a huge year for Simply Cyber. It, we completed our full second year of the channel. So for those of you who kind of came in along the way, we started the channel in December of 2019 and really got serious about it January, February of 2020. So in December, just, just recently, we celebrated that two-year milestone. So congratulations. Now, I want to share a ton of metrics with you and get right into it. So here is the dashboard for the Simply Cyber community for uh, 2021. You can see we had 22,000 additional subscribers in 2021, which is absolutely amazing. We're currently at right around 26,000 subscribers. So the community is absolutely huge and I really, really appreciate each of you. Uh, we got 590,000 views. Uh, I don't know exactly how many videos I uploaded. I'd probably say I definitely did one every Monday, uh, which is 52. And then we do the live streams every Thursday. So that's another 52. Uh, and then we have uh, the daily threat briefings that just started. So probably somewhere around like 150, 160 videos across the year. You can see the revenue right there, 4,813 uh, for ad revenue. Again, um, in, in, in membership. So thank you guys. It's, it's really, you know, that money goes to help support the channel, help me get the lights, get, you know, pay for the software that does the recording. Um, and you know, just the operating costs of running a YouTube channel. It, 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 <laughs> it might seem free, but it's, it's certainly not. So this, this money certainly goes to help us. Uh, if we look at the audience really quick, cause I find this fascinating, we can see that, um, we are currently heavily a male population, uh, 8.6. I have been, um, you know, discreetly or, or like on, on the side working to, uh, make my, uh, content or make the simply cyber content more accessible, uh, to females. I, I, I this metric really uh, stunned me, which is why I'm sharing it. I really did not know if this was because, um, like I'm not, targeting women I'm, I'm i'm putting simply cyber stuff in areas that uh female viewers don't typically go to so um probably in october i actually started putting a lot of stuff on pinterest thinking that that might be a social media platform that might have a more female-based audience so they could um, discover and uh, find some uh, cyber security um, resources uh that that could help them so i i, I really wish that this was um slightly higher, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Also, you can see 25 to 34 is the major demographic, uh, with it's a, a it's a nice bell curve here. So definitely trying to, uh, engage audiences of all ages. I, I did try to get on Instagram and TikTok, thinking I might be able to, um, get cybersecurity education to a younger audience, but in all honesty, consider that a fail, uh, for simply cyber because, um, I was unable to sustain Instagram because I'm terrible at it. Uh, and it was really difficult for me to, um, to do well. Uh, again, you can see we've got a great, um, you know, half is United States, which means half is international. And I'm really, really pleased with all the uh, members of our international community who take the time to be part of what we're doing. Uh, so some huge wins for 2021. We got the Discord server up and running. Special thanks to Stefan Waldvogel, who initially stood that up, invited Simply Cyber to join. And then when Stefan got a job, um, he kind of gave the whole server over to Simply Cyber. He's still active on there. And we've got a wonderful community on there. So I'd encourage you to check out that. Uh, we started doing the first things first daily cyber threat briefing in early December, and we'll continue that on through 2022. That's one of those major initiatives that I'm absolutely passionate about continuing to do. Um, so if you if you want daily threat briefings, uh, definitely check out the scheduled live streams on the channel. So some fails, um, you know, I, 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 there is a podcast, Simply Cyber Podcast. I was trying to repurpose the live stream interviews. 
I tried to write a bash script that automated most of it. I was able to automate uh, 80% of it, but the other 20% was manual. And I just didn't have the cycles and continue not to have the cycles in order to continue to do that. So I will be terminating the audio podcast of Simply Cyber uh, in 2022. Uh, we did a ton of um, collaborations. We met with Heath Adams. We met with Philip Wiley. We met with Neil Bridges. We met with John Strand, um, Charles Finfrock, so many wonderful guests, uh, you know, Ken Underhill, Mike Lyons, um, just uh, there's too many to mention Josh Mason. So really special uh, to be able to collaborate with other members of the community and you know, kind of cross pollinate uh, with the different personalities so you can find the people that can help you best and that resonate with you uh, the best also. Um, we did uh, launch memberships, um, which is cool. The squad is what I ended up calling it. And you know, for those who are members, um, I appreciate the, the support, the financial support uh, for the channel. As I mentioned, um, it goes towards p paying for all of this equipment. Uh, which is, you know, makes it a better production, a better quality show, uh, which delivers, you know, better value uh, to you all. So let's talk about 2022, because that's really where a lot of interesting things are. Uh, I've started working on a couple courses that will be much deeper than any of the YouTube videos I've done. I do uh, teach at a university. Um, so I've been, you know, I've kind of like learned those skills of, of education. And I'm going to be doing a GRC course. I'm going to be doing, tentatively, I'm doing a um, how to conduct an enterprise risk assessment course and also kind of a video course that's similar to the cybersecurity master plan uh, book I wrote in 2021. So people can get it a little bit different or consume it a different. Um, I'm going to continue doing the first things first. Love, love the community interaction on that. Love the response. Um, it's very, it's, it's, it's easily like my favorite part of Simply Cyber uh, at the moment. Uh, one major change that is, you know, I guess could be viewed as a negative. Uh, I've been producing fixed episodes every single Monday for two years, and it's taken a bit of a toll. Um, I did have some like, I don't want to say mental health issues, but I mean, at one point I like literally made a picture that I was going to post online and I didn't. It, it felt therapeutic just making the picture. Um, where I was just, you know, beat down and exhausted and didn't want to make the video. And I was getting peppered with questions on uh, LinkedIn and stuff like that. And it just overwhelmed me. And, um, you know, I continued to make the videos because I wanted to see 2021 through. But starting in 2022, I will be cutting back on the produced videos. Uh, tentatively, I'm going to do every other Monday. Uh, I continue to do the live streams every Thursday. That's less that's like less planning and less production and less editing and less, it's less time. It's everything about it's less except quality. The quality's just bang on the same. So uh, I will, maybe I might even include or start doing like two live streams a week. I don't know yet. It depends on like load and all these other things, but I definitely can't do the produce videos every week anymore. Um, the first things first will continue. So basically I'll have five live streams every day. Um, two on, or five every day, my God. I'll have one every day, a weekday. I'll have uh, a long one on Thursday with a guest. And every other Monday, I'll have a produced video. Um, so that is the, the big ticket items. If there's anything that you want from the community in 2022, let me know. Um, there's, I mean, there's just a lot of projects. I, I might have some huge news coming up in the next uh, couple weeks. It's right now it's New Year's Eve, 2021 um, that I'll be sharing with the community. Obviously you guys are first to know uh, outside my, my wife. But if you, if you have anything in 2022, jump on the discord server, engage the community. Let me know. I'm very active in there. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, unreachable, right? Like I, I want to make this something that the community can benefit from and celebrate and really uh, enjoy as a valuable resource and an inclusive community. So um, I'm closing out the 2021 retrospective 2022 planning meeting, our annual shareholders meeting, town hall, whatever you want to call it. Really, really uh, much love. Sincerely appreciate 
all that each of you have done. Tom Pike, uh, Bass, Josh Mason, uh, so many others. You guys helping mod the the uh, live streams. Jack Scott, John Helmus, Kim Wynn for writing the book with me. Um, you know Neil Bridges uh, for for you know what you do as far as like the live streaming and um, helping and stuff. So you know just good good times, guys. This is what it's supposed to be about. All right, that does it for this one. Y'all have a good one. Let's kick 2022's butt. Let's do it. Bye.